The Audi R8 is back in Need for Speed Unbound. And of course, I've unlocked all of the customization to show you. This thing is awesome. I am so glad to have the RA back in Need for Speed. It is one of the best cars that was definitely missing from the supercar roster in Need for Speed Unbound. In addition, it's got brand new handling, just like the RS6 and the S5, and ultimately, it looks awesome. But of course, it's Need for Speed. We can make it look even more awesome. Also, it looks really high quality. I don't know. Maybe I just kind of missed it. And it sounds so bassy. Now, I've already heard from some fellow Need for Speed creators that this car is really, really good in S-Class. So that's kind of where I'm going to aim for in the end. It's already kind of there, actually, which is great. So I imagine there's not much of an engine swap involved in this. Something I just noticed, this engine, this V8... It has like a down arrow on it. And from memory, that down arrow essentially means that it can't actually go lower, but it's supposed to go lower. And then they've kind of rounded. I don't know. Basically, that would be a stupid idea. <laughs> and they've stopped it from going any lower because it definitely could with that. <laughs> anyway, we have got the customization. So let's jump through and have a look. So I am 100 going to say this straight away, fully expecting all the modifications to be from Need for Speed Heat. I don't expect anything majorly new. It's going to be a struggle for me to notice if there's anything majorly new. That's pretty cool. You can go for like a classic R8 style front there. I quite like that. The normal Audi front end, the newest one, the 2019, I really like. It's grown on me a hell of a lot. But you can go for the different styles of it, which is pretty cool. You got canards, which I noticed the RS6 doesn't have any canards. I was kind of missing that. And the wide body. Oh, hell yeah. So you've got vented or unvented with a little bit more up to it, which is pretty awesome, actually. I kind of like the vented. Who doesn't want a wide R8? Oh, that's like smoothed on and that's bolted on. Oh, I kind of want to go for the bolted on. For the R8, it kind of needs to have that look, I feel. Right, spoiler customization. There's some that probably actually are new to this game that are coming across because I, I I, do not remember that. <laughs> there's going to there's gonna be some experts that are like, no, no, that was in the last game. I do not <laughs> remember that at all. I feel like going for this Speed Hunter's wing right here. Now, I'm kind of curious. Do you think it's going to have a rear bumper delete? No. Weird. I kind of expected the rear to have a delete. That would make sense. I mean, even the Lamborghini Huracan has the rear bumper delete. So you can go for the bar across the back, the mesh across the back. You can go for the classical style. You can go with a little bit of extra vintage or that. I think the standard one is actually my favorite. The diffuser, however, we will change up and make it even spicier. Maybe that one. The diffusers are quite subtle, actually, for the uh, the Audi R8 there. The exhausts, which I also feel, compared to previous Need for Speeds, also feel a little subtle. That looks stupid. I kind of am tempted. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I take it back. That's not subtle in the slide. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> and it's been so long. I'm going to have to figure out what bloody wheels I'm going to go for the R8. What do you put on an R8? I don't actually know. I completely, almost completely forgot the side skirts. That is awesome. It's got like an extra little lip at the rear there that looks beautiful. The next tech. Oh, man. We've got a lot of wing mirrors, of course. Yes, yes. Oh, ooh. I kind of like these, the Speed Hunters ones. The kind of race car -y, maybe a little bit Japanese, if you will, and they're tiny. Who needs rear view mirrors? I've got a full surround. I've got eyes in the back of my side of my head. I know what I'm looking at. So something that is brand new to this game is being able to choose the color of the lights that you want. You can use the color picker. So there's definitely going to be these elements that are slightly different compared to Need for Speed Heat. Oh, and I completely forgot splitters as well. Oh, this is making the difference. This is doing it. So there are definitely some new ones that you have to unlock. The splitters are actually one of the elements that you just kind of get from the go. That is looking pretty spicy. I don't know if you agree. The carbon there. Oh my goodness. Um, Yeah, I think that carbon one, there's about... Why are they all called carbon? <laughs> Maybe it's because they are just made of carbon. That could potentially be a good idea. That looks insane. We, of course, need to get that stance lower Oh, the thing is not quite there. Maybe I can put some bags on this as well, just to see. Because I, I, I genuinely do not think I've used bags 
at all in this game. Ooh. Yeah, when I take pictures, I might start using bags. That would probably be a good idea. <laughs> Another thing I don't really use is underglow. So let's see if we just got like a nice, ooh, yellow underglow. Exhaust tuning. Muffled. Nah, nah, nah. Exposed and raw. The flames are too small. They're too puny. They're too pathetic for this Audi R8. I think the realistic one will definitely help with that. The flame on the realistic is... <gasps> Yeah, yeah, I still miss the heat flames. They were just a step further, but my goodness, it, it looks good. And if you're curious about the rest of the kits, we got the standard. This is the next tech one. Don't like the front end. Don't like the front end. It kind of reminds me of Payback for some reason. And then we've got this. I definitely think I did a better job overall. That is so sexy. What if we go for yellow lights to match? <laughs> It looks evil. And you got to do the rear. I completely forgot about the rear tail lights as well. You could tint those black or keep them clear. I kind of like the idea of maybe slightly smoking them. Just slightly. I need a yellow infinity plate so bad. For now, the green will do. <laughs> I've also gone for um, Audi, as the Americans would say. And I just changed the rear as well. This, this looks much nicer. Of course, the first livery is the Darius one, which if you don't know, you can unlock a very special... Hey, that's cheating. You, can you... Hey. I think she was actually commenting on one of my streams the other day. That's interesting. I wasn't paying attention to that. The pink. Pink on supercars is just such a flex. Such a flex. What the hell is that doing here? <laughs> that's that's not an RA. What the what the hell? <laughs> is it when people use their other liveries and then publish it on this car created for the Corvette? What what do you mean? I definitely think the yellow. I like my yellow. Oh perfect. It doesn't follow the kind of door line. It perfectly just sits there oh yeah that looks so much better with the black there something else i generally like to do is kind of follow bumper lines where it should be black but the audi is already perfect because of how it's set up i think i'm just gonna stick a little black panther sticker on there and uh publish it because it's it's so good there we go beautiful beautiful i'm gonna share it by the way yeah yeah, yeah. Make, make mine the number one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all i did is put two stickers on it it's fine <laughs> doesn't have to be yellow either now, I didn't come in on the engine stops thus far, but the V12 is nice to see. V10. It's, is Okay, that's the engine that's in it. I was going to say, that kind of sounds Lamborghini-ish. <laughs> we got V8 options to make it a little bit lighter and v V12. I think it's a good selection. I think it's a good selection. It's probably very similar to the Hurricane. I didn't know we did that in the gap. I would have put bags in every car if I knew it did that. Oh, that looks sinister. Holy sh! Look at the pops! So, for those who want to know, I put the cinematic sound effect on the car, and when when it shifts, it's it's cinematic, all right. My God, those flames are definitely better than the standard ones. That is awesome. The boost. <laughs> My God, I love this thing so much. This definitely might just straight away be one of my new go-to cars because it looks amazing i think the fine details of like smoking out the tail lights and making them yellow definitely just adds to the elements of this car the new flames the tires sticking out of this wide body i wish i could make the wheels a little bit wider just a little bit just a little bit oh it sounds awesome i've not done any performance upgrades this far i'm a ricey boy but this <laughs> I am, I'm in love with it. Let's see how we get it to the top of the class with the standard engine, because I don't know if I want to change it. It is so wide. It's kind of insane. Uh, I'm going to say that I, I kind of would love to see an even wider. <laughs> right, so performance and handling is obviously very clearly on the grip side. It's got new handling. We've already been trying it out on the playlist quite a lot. I don't know why I went straight for that. I'm going to go back a second. I need to calm down, chill out and use the tunability of the differential. It's still stuck in grip. That is interesting. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, so you can kind of shift it with tires so you can get it to slide a little bit. That would be quite interesting. However, I'm, I think I'm just gonna put <laughs> road tires on it. <laughs> the thing that I straight away wanna go for is the turbo, but if I do that, we're going straight to S plus. 
Straight to it. There's no mucking about. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We can upgrade the brakes, which literally does nothing. It brings it from 309 to 310. So maybe it wasn't even worth doing. However, gearbox seems the same. It doesn't seem to actually change much at all. Probably because we're not fast enough there. Yeah. Of course, if you want to look for like meta builds and stuff, absolutely those will be out there very, very shortly. But I, I've heard that S is the way to go. And it seems like that this may be the way to do it. We've got NOS. That brings us to S+. Plus. I need NOS on Super. There's no way I'm not doing that. Oh, and of course, we can also do the handling tuning to reduce it a little bit more, can't we? Yeah, so if we want to change the downforce, that changes the rank down a little bit, which is probably a good idea. If we put it onto high, we get a couple more digits to change. Oh my God, quite a lot of digits to change. We can do some proper changes here. Yeah, I can go for the big NOS now. Oh... I like that a lot. Do we have enough to oh, S plus? No, no, we can't do the turbo. What about suspension? Can we, can we? Uh, yes. All right, there we go. So we got it to 206 anymore. And that's how it be. So one particular problem with the playlists and the PVP is that ultimately you can't really drive what you want all the time. Right now it's S plus or provided cars, which does mean for some different gameplay. So right now it kind of makes sense. However, I could not use my R8 still unless I want to race with my friends. I can't compare the R8 to other cars unless it's with friends and organized. But this is something that could change a little bit later. But of course, I can still use in S the R8 because there is an R8 specific playlist right now, which is kind of perfect timing. And if you do not have the car unlocked or ultimately the RS6 if you don't want to pay for it. It's a good way, the playlist, to actually check out the car and test it before you purchase it, which I think is a really nice thing that they did. Oh, there's someone with terrible netcode in here. This is gonna go. This is gonna go fantastic. Picture internet. I'll even pay for it if you want. Don't, don't comment, don't, don't, don't take me up on that. Oh my God! It's like the run. This is really, ah, how's it my fault that you got crap internet? You maybe ghost people out that start like glitching and stuff. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, it is definitely one of those that's interesting. Cause of course, again, you want to do a specific playlist that's not the criterion selected playlist. You're a bit limited in what you can do. Oh, this thing is so good. So I will say from experience of trying it in the past, the R8, they've definitely improved overall how it feels. I have a little bit less understeer. There used to be a point where it used to kind of just barrel off straight. But in this build of the game, I'm so sorry. Uh, it drives really, really nicely. It's properly grippy, but of course, it's kind of what you expect from an all wheel drive supercar whoa 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 <laughs> oh and you know it would actually kind of be cool to get the audi e-tron not the suv in the game at some point because i would love to have something to compare against the Taycan. it's like they're the same vehicle but it would be pretty interesting to see if there's any discrepancies because surely the porsche would be faster volkswagen would not allow the porsche to not be faster that doesn't make sense right <laughs> Whoa! What happened there? <laughs> that man just disappeared. I think there's two solutions, and that is allowing you to start races on your own in free room, especially if you're just testing or you just want to make money on your own. You can't be bothered to drive specific cars. Also, excuse me, another possibility is filling races with AI. Which of those two would you prefer? Or, sorry, or maybe both. I think both would actually be really good. I would love to see that. Oh, imagine they added like roaming racers into free roam. How cool would it be if there were roaming racers in free roam on, on multiplayer, I'm talking here, maybe in single player too, on free roam. And basically they could be like, maybe they could have me there in a skyline or something. You could whoop me. <laughs> I th Do you know what? They, they added Jake Paul into payback. So how about we get Black Pants in Need for Speed Unbound? That would be nice. Yeah. They didn't have to be, just use my character right here. That would be pretty cool. And ever since these playlists and PvP has come out, I gen yesterday, no word of a lie, I played 
at least seven hours. My playtime went up hugely, but actual playtime, I think there's like seven hours of actually playing these playlists. I do not like PvP. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of it. However, here we are doing exactly that because I just love driving in Need for Speed. I, I don't know what it is, but Need for Speed pulls me in every time. Even with its arcade, just sometimes jank handling. I'm having a whale of a time. A lot of people, of course, are asking, like, should I jump into Need for Speed Unbound now? Yes. Even if you just don't pay for the RS6, you don't want any of the premium packs, now is the best time to jump into this game. I mean, that there has been. <laughs> and there will be an even better time in two months' time when the Need for Speed Underground update comes out. This is the start, baby. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I can't wait to see when there's some like hardcore events added into the game, into the PvP rotation, like the cop playlist, for example. Oh look, an R81. <laughs> not, not that I can tell you if it's actually like OP or anything, but I've heard it's very, very good. Hey, another level, I'll take it. I've done 49 PvP playlists. Of course I have. Of course I have. Anyway, that is my opinion on the R8. It might actually be my favorite car they've added in a while other than the rs6 i love the rs6 yeah so mm, check it out actually